Squeeze Gang, you know what time it is, man. Back again. Go Squeeze Crazy. Mike Tyson, most brutal knockouts. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all want me to do next, man. Jump in them comments. Let's get it. It's safe to say the knockouts Mike Tyson dished out in the late 80s and 90s were among boxing's most brutal. He got a punch on the jaw! Iron Mike had a notorious reputation in the heavyweight division, stemming from his ability to put on a show which usually involved putting people to sleep rather quickly. Here's a list of the top 10 best Mike Tyson knockouts to help you relive the memories. From his most impressive, his first knockout, and everything in between. Number 10, Tony Tubbs, March 1998. This fight was a mere setup of sorts for Tyson's world title tour. It saw Tyson with a 33 and 0, 29 KOs record match up against Tubbs, 24 and 1, 15 KOs. A bit of a slugfest at first, Tubbs did a decent job at landing a couple of jabs on Tyson and protecting himself by keeping his gloves up for much of the contest. You can begin to see the startling hand quickness that top break. Unfortunately for Tubbs, by the second round, the stomach hit started to show their effect. Tubbs desperately sent combos at Tyson before he got caught lacking, Ooh. opening up a chance for Mike to send a left hook his way. <laughs> the challenger stumbled for a moment before falling Yo, nah, him. Tyson was brutal. Nah, Tyson was different. <laughs> Tyson tried to snuff him while he was on the floor. Tyson was different. Yes. Number nine, Francois Botha. Tyson was fucking ruthless, bro. That nigga Tyson ran up on him on the floor like, trying to take him out. 1999. Those who have not followed Tyson's career closely probably know him best for his infamous showdown with Evander Holyfield, where he bit off a chunk of the latter's ear. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield down, he's crushed. He bit his ear open, pushed him. What's up, pussy? <laughs> a dirty Tyson. Fans surprisingly forgave Tyson for that. Two years later, he was back in the ring against Francois Botha. The fight against Botha was an awesome showcase of why Tyson is considered the most exciting heavyweight in history. Every time Tyson stepped into the ring, it wasn't just a fight, it was an event. It was a show, a spectacle. Making his way out to the ring with his usual cold stare all decked out in black. Tyson was intense and was all business while Botha stood in his corner and appeared unsure of himself. Although it took Tyson a little longer to get in stride, he finally caught Botha in the fifth round, finishing the South African with a destructive left straight to the chin. Number 8, Frank Bruno, February 1989. The run-up to Tyson vs. Bruno was messy. Similar to many fights today, this one kept getting pushed back and delayed. But this allowed interest in the fight to marinate and simmer. It also allowed both fighters to prime themselves both physically and mentally before stepping into the ring. When Tyson and Bruno met in February of 1989, it was an exciting contest from the get-go, as the two immediately went at it. Bruno blitzed Tyson at the opening bell, going on the offensive. Tyson sent him to the canvas, but he quickly sprung to his feet. Tyson's so dirty, bro. He staggered Tyson and almost finished him. The fight was close, however, Tyson eventually went into full-on beast mode and trapped Bruno along the ropes in the fifth round. There, he connected three devastating uppercuts and finished off the combination with a left hook to the jaw. The referee had seen enough and stepped in to call a halt to the contest. Number 7, Trevor Burbank, November 1986. At just 20 years of age, Tyson was young and aggressive. He was a prize fighter in every sense of the word, and he made sure fans got their money's worth. When he met Trevor Burbick in November 1985, Tyson put on an absolute show. With the tension at peak levels before the first bell even rang, there was never a dull moment in this fight. In fact, Tyson may have never taken a step backward against Burbick. Burbick tried to keep Tyson at bay by fighting for range, but it wasn't long until Tyson overwhelmed him with his trademark speed and power. 
It took just two rounds for Tyson to knock Burbank out. He sent him to the canvas twice. The first time early in- Bro, he catching him with some shit. Oh my God. Second round behind a monster right hook. A left hook later in the round sealed the deal. Oh, nah, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Number six, Henry Tillman, June 1990. <laughs> After suffering the first professional loss of his career, Tyson was desperate to respond in the only way he knew how. Vicious and quick. Tillman was one of Tyson's biggest threats. A gold medalist himself, he had beaten Mike twice at an amateur level. In reality, Mike was just too good for Tillman, owning him from the first bell. He lasted longer than some, but Tillman didn't stand a chance. Tyson wanted his so vengeance. Bro. Mike Tyson had niggas running around that ring. They niggas doing laps. Niggas be doing laps in the ring with Tyson. In every blow. Look, look. Tyson ended the fight with a hard right after just two minutes and forty-seven seconds. Come here, stupid. Number five, Larry Holmes, January 1988. Tyson spent much of his time traveling with mentor Kus D'Amato, watching Muhammad Ali fight. It was the fight between Ali and Holmes at Caesar's Palace that stuck in Tyson's head the most. Legend has it Mike couldn't stand to watch his idol Ali get mauled by Holmes while he was in a deteriorating state. In a car ride home after the fight, Mike speaks to Ali over the phone and promises to seek Ali's vengeance. When I grow up, I'll fight Holmes and I'll get him back for you. Fast forward again through Mike's amateur and professional career and the stage gets set for an event billed as heavyweight history. The 38-year-old Holmes was tempted out of retirement by a $3 million offer from Don King to face the undefeated Tyson. I just heard something oh, like shit. That, that Mike Tyson was so upset because of the stolen of Larry Holmes, he punched a hole through the wall in his dressing room. Can you believe that? The match was set. Ali was courtside and Iron Mike did his thing. Oh, no, nah, that's legend. That's fucking legendary. I'm young, so I ain't see this. I was a young nigga when this happened. That was legendary. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was fucking legendary. Who the fuck is Wells Fargo? It took just four rounds for Tyson to prove he was too fast, oh too strong, and too good for the former heavyweight champion. Tyson dropped Holmes twice before the fight was called off, and Holmes was knocked out for the first time in his career. Yeah, stupid. This for Ali. This for Ali. This for Ali, nigga. Me, mm, stupid me, nigga. Oh my god. He did that for Ali. To his promise. Number four, Michael Johnson, September 1985. Iron Mike was just 19 years old when he got his first first round knockout. This fight against Johnson wasn't the spectacle of the likes of Spinks. But it was Tyson's quickest knockout to date, lasting just over 30 seconds. It was a quick fight and not overly surprising. Johnson had a tendency to get knocked out with his previous six bouts resulting in four losing knockouts. Tyson clocks Johnson with a left Ooh. hook that sends him down. <laughs> Mike that comes back weird. seconds later with a big right that ends the fight rather <laughs> That was free wreck for Mike. This was free wreck. I ain't gonna lie. Nobody can tell me this wasn't no free wreck. This was just, yeah, go in there and just beat the nigga up, Mike. Number three, Dan Halpin, May 1985. Tyson's first knockout may have been his most controversial. Halpin came into the fight with a below average record of nine wins to 18 losses. Damn. But the veteran used his tactics to survive the first few rounds. He survived. Tyson, on the other hand, came into the fight slow and steady. The commentators even gave Tyson a bit of a stick, implying it's almost as if his corner have said to him, Listen, you don't have to win every fight inside one round. See, the different side of Mike Tyson's life, it's almost as if his corner have said to him, Listen, 
Now not the winner we fight inside of one round. The match made its way into the fourth round, where Tyson hits Halpin with a flurry of punches, sending Halpin to the canvas. Tyson finishes off Halpin with a punch while he's... But they was in the corner like, all right, Mike, come on, bro. We trying to go to the club. Mike, all right, man. Knock him out. Be on his way down to the floor. Yeah, here we go. Sparking the first piece of controversy for Tyson's career. The fight was over then. Bang! Look, see him. Yo, Mike is dirty, bro. That nigga's dirty. He been doing that. Bro, he did that like three times in this little reaction. It's dirty. Oh, the damage. Number two, Marvis <laughs> Frazier, July 1986. <laughs> Frazier was one of Mike's quickest knockouts. Both fighters found pleasure in crippling their opponents, and both had majority wins under their belt. The son of smoking Joe Frazier, Marvis Frazier, had only one loss under his belt at the time. And understandably, fans tipped this as a major, but it didn't pan out. This battle wasn't even close. Oh my, oh my god! Jesus Tyson knocked out Frazier in 30 seconds flat. Bro, that was crazy. Proving why he's not all hype. Number one, Michael Speaks nah, to... Nah, about to... Nah, hell no. We ain't about to do that. Why that bad, DJ? This as a major, but it didn't pan out. This battle wasn't even close. With a flurry of heavy punches, Tyson just knocked that blood in the water. Frazier in 30 seconds flat. Once again, proving why he's not all hype. Number one, Michael Spinks, June 1988. Many will argue this isn't the most impressive knockout of Tyson's career, but it's certainly the most important. Iron Mike put three belts on the line for this fight against the future Hall of Famer Michael Spinks, a fighter who had never touched the deck. The tables were set, and as Donald Trump and Muhammad Ali exited the ring following introductions, the fight took a sharp right turn for Spinks. Hitting him with a big bloody blow that put Spinks mm. down on the deck for the first time in his career. Spinks' torture continued before being cut short just over 90 seconds into the bout. Thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you guys in the next. <laughs> that was that nigga put him out. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, squeeze, gang. I know what to do. Like the video. Get it 100 likes.